hello I want to discuss in this video why people have the need to to gravitate to brutality violence and um, and um, like cruel type of things you know like this is what I observe a lot and I like to see modern architecture and not all of those people tend to cruel things but um, an awful lot of those who do they probably have also misunderstood modern architecture altogether you know they um, probably think modern architecture is sort of badass, you know, fits into this cruel type of fad, cruel fad, the badass fad, the, the mean, edgy, you know, cruel, cold, clinging, uh, glass, crystal, cold. I'm trying to get this point across as good as I can and as lyrical as I can, as poetic as I can, because I want to make this understood, because I don't know how else to make this understood other than to, to use the best words that I can come up with and they don't even fit. So modern architecture is has nothing to do with coldness, cruelty. It's a complete misunderstanding from the side of the people who have been brainwashed with religion. So it's I noticed that a lot of those people who have been brainwashed with religion they will at some point like break out of that religion but just to latch on to another one uh, which is often Satanism or something else like the UG cult uh, or the whatever some Illuminati or whatever you know whatever they they think gives them power. They always, it's always about power over someone else. It's always, it's not power from within. It's always misunderstood. Power is always misunderstood as power over someone else. And this power over someone else is always interpreted as being badass, as being mean, edgy, cold, sharp, crystal, um, nothing me, nothing uh, nice, nothing, you know, nice is being seen as meek, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's an entire mindset that these people have. And I, I, I see this when I watch um, people's indoor decorations when I watch uh, modern architecture and I always think it's a pity that I that that one has to look look at all these things uh, photos of uh, cruelty you know cruelty images that those people find beautiful actually you know? cruel images uh, that people find beautiful it's it's a badass type of thing. I'm telling you, you know, it's like they want to they want to shock because they think they get respect for it. <laughs> they get respect by other badassers. It's like come to my badass party on um, Tanago Way in in the Hollywood Hill. And we do some badassing together, you know, on my 20-acre property on the hills with my badass 
sharp edge cut swimming pool and the badass horror movie scene posters on the wall and it has to be badass man you know and the perfumes have to have badass names you know? it has to be obsession would they would like to give it a, a, a more edgy kind of name even but then would not wouldn't sell to the wider population you know? so See, this is, I mean, do you, do you see this? Did I get my point across with this or something? It's like, hello, you know, wake up, okay? And that's what you, that's what Jiddu Krishnamurti said when he was talking about, he's been traveling around the whole world. And he said, it's all, it's all um, disorganized. It's, it's disordered everywhere. Humanity is disordered. But when he came to the United States, and I heard many other people say that too, they all said it, people from outside of the United States who finally came to the, to the United States, including myself, who all saw the same thing. They saw, always have suffered under humanity, but when they came to the United States, it was like, it was, um, it was an accumulation of all of this combined. It was like, all countries' uh, neurosis it, into a focal point. It, it's like, like, like taking an hourglass and focusing the sunlight on something and causing a burn. And that's kind of like it. It is. It's a. It's it's bundled together neurosis to such an incredible, incredible neurosis that it just doesn't get any worse. So I have to make a second part.